sometimes you need to make gears for different projects like this and they're usually custom gears so you can't buy them so I usually make them myself and up to now I've been using this method just direct indexing so now I've decided to go make myself a dividing head so this is the finished product This is the handle, and it's just got a spring inside, so I can lock it into place. Then there's a spring here which holds everything into place, and there's a groove cut in there to locate it. Now this is what they call the spider. Uh, what you do is you just cut the outside with an angle grinder, and then the inside, you can you can put this on the lathe and cut the inside with the lathe. And this is the plate. So let's have a look inside the dividing head. Now, when you machine this, you have to be very careful that there's no backlash in any of these shafts either way. And I've also put a mechanism in place here which is connected to the bearing retainer uh, that automatically adjusts the backlash on, on the actual gear. So there's no backlash anywhere. Now you can get special threads uh, to cut for worm gears, but I'm just using what I've got. My biggest thread that I can cut is four millimeters. So that's what I'm using. And I found a cutter which is M2, which fits that pretty well. So when you cut this gear, you've got to make sure that your cutter is over the middle both ways. And once you determine the depths, make sure you cut at the same depths all the way around. Now this is how I worked out that main gear. <coughs> it's the pitch by 60 divided by pi plus the height of the thread. <coughs> that gives you the diameter of that gear. In my case it's 4 mils by 60 divided by pi plus 2.4. So my gear is 78.8. Once you mount it on the lathe you just tighten this nut here to lock it into place and there's a screw under here that locks it into the lathe so it doesn't twist and then here we've mounted a protractor which you can make yourself and then the handle you put a pointer on it like this now you can start to make your plates so how do you make the plates well I've got the protractor in here and the easiest one to cut is the 60 hole one. 60 hole is quite easy because it's one revolution for every tooth. Here at the disc, the tooth is 6 degrees multiplied by 60. 6 6 is 36. You drill the hole. One turn, drill the hole again, and just keep going like that. And you don't use, use a normal drill; you use a, a centre drill, and you just start the hole, and then you finish them off on a drill press, because you don't want that drill to wander. Now this is the chart I use for my 60 hole plate. As you can see you can do a lot of different cogs just with the one plate. And you'll notice that if it's less than 60 holes there's more than one turn. If it's more than 60 holes it's less than one turn. 
Now there's other cogs here, 54. There's four different cogs you can cut out of that. And with 57, there's three that you can cut. Now the 60 hole plate is quite easy to work out because one turn is one tooth. But with the others it gets a bit more complicated. This is 34. One tooth is 10.5 degrees. You have to multiply that by 60. You get 635 degrees. Now to drill your holes <coughs> set it on zero and drill the first hole and then you get that 635 degrees which is a bit awkward to do on your protractor you take off 360 and that leaves you with 275 so you give it one turn plus 275 because we're turning 1.764 turns and then these others here you've got to multiply that figure by two and keep taking off 360 to see what's left so the second one is is another turn on top of that plus 190 now when you're multiplying these figures you've got to keep all these numbers here because otherwise it's not going to be right in the end these don't matter because it's quite good enough to go half a degree because you can't really adjust it closer to half a degree anyway and then when you get to about cog 17 it goes back to 360 and you start all over again I've made a few gears with my dividing head two of them are in here in my auxiliary drive uh, this is connected to my lead screw this is so that I can cut my gears using power feet So this is the gears close up, that turned out pretty good, thanks for watching.